Hello and welcome back to Might and Magic, book one bonus footage. Uh, I've been wondering what to do next here, because honestly I'm rather out of ideas. I mean, there are a few more challenges I wish to do, uh, but basically I'm sort of afraid <laughs> that I probably will fail them horribly and uh, will have to try them at a later time, which is never a good thing, because it's repetitive. Uh, but, well, there are also dinosaurs, but we have already done those quite recently. So I found something that we should be able to do easily and what we didn't do earlier, although we might have been supposed to. Um, so uh, yeah, let's try that. Also yes, in case you're wondering, I'm still quite busy with all the schoolwork. Already had a few tests, um, but yeah, so far they have been going quite well. Uh, but they weren't very hard either. Anyway, what we need to do here is navigate through this forest. I'm just going to go right through it. Find the right place. I think we are, and I'm not going to approach this because this is just not worth it. Okay, so we need to go here to this place. And this is nothing. This is something. This is impassable. And yeah, we need to go here. Statues block the path. Let's smash them. Something we couldn't do earlier, but now it's kind of a piece of cake. Yeah, exactly. There's... Legos proving my point there. Also, I think the character guards actually can do something like... something. Or... not. I think they're supposed to be able to do something, but whatever. I don't remember what exactly that is. Maybe paralyze or something. And I don't think we are going to get much money out of this. Oh, an iron chest. Um, yeah, no gold. Well, anyway, let's go to area B2, and the surroundings have changed for some strange reason. Alright, so let's continue going through this. I need to be careful not to get lost again. Um, yeah, this is passable. Uh, there is a fake passageway. But this is real. This is real. This is real. And we need to go to the warrior stronghold. Also, it's dark, and I don't remember if we need to cast Levitate. I don't think so. Okay, Legolas cast Light 1 6, I believe. Yeah. And we're facing the wrong way. Yay. Unlock Shagrath. You should remember this place. And that's not right. No, no, it's right. Okay. Never mind. This is the gargoyle, gargoyle place thing. Uh, we shouldn't have much trouble with them. I hope. Attack. 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 Cast lightning bolt on B. Which probably isn't even that useful compared to Phantom Sword. But whatever. Rustin gets all our 100 spell points back anyway. So, block, attack, attack. Yay, I don't care about experience. Please give me gold. Iron chest. Seems promising. No. Six gold is not promising, sorry. More gargoyles. Should A. 
cast glass, and you know what? I really don't care about you. Gargoyles, I'm just going to auto attack. Wow, they even run away. Yeah. Something I noticed is that. Ow. <laughs> is that chests don't really. Well, their type doesn't really say much about how much gold you're going to get, but it does say about what kind of items you can expect from that chest. Also, um. Wow, Lilas could do with some healing there. Shoot A. Cast. Cast 2, 1 on 3. And I don't really care about Bless anymore. Would be too much of a hassle to actually cast it. Though gargoyles run away. Yeah. Gargoyle, whoop de doo. Okay, that was so good. We can continue doing this. Also, one thing uh, I want to note is that. I now have a tablet PC and I tried to install Linux on it and it didn't work. Which on one side is kind of annoying. Well, it basically works, I mean you can install it, but you cannot run the X server. And if you know anything about Linux, you will know that X server is in fact the whole graphical user interface server. <laughs> Uh, so, you can use the command line, and very easily too, but you can't get anything graphical, and it kind of defeats the point of using a tablet PC for that. So yeah, also you cannot use the touch screen for that. Um, okay, we're in the level 2. So... Yeah, on one side it's kind of annoying. On other side it's actually quite... Um, um, motivating, I guess. Because I don't think anyone has ever attempted to get Linux working on this kind of tablet PC. And... Well, they have, but they were not successful anyway. And it doesn't sound like it would be... A difficult thing to do. Probably some kind of configuration thing that I need to uh, change. So it's maybe an interesting challenge to get it working. Also, kill all the enchantresses and warlocks and necromancers. Fight E. Fight G, I guess. And cast 6 1. 11 points of damage is not enough, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can... Oh really? What? They're not affected. Cold beam, ow. <laughs> Acid arrow, ow. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully I can get Linux working there, one way or another. Another thing that bothers me in that I cannot use Linux there is that I cannot use gparted or gnu partition editor or to partition the whole drive. Um, also, do we have... Uh, yes, we do have less. So, oh gosh, Legolas, you're dying. Um, yeah, so I cannot use the partition editor to edit partitions. And since I cannot edit partitions, I cannot resize the main NTFS partition, and therefore get enough space to actually install Linux on. Luckily, there was a 2GB partition there, pre-installed, 
for no apparent reason actually, it's completely empty and uh, it's formatted as NTFS and would have been more useful if it was merged into the main Windows partition if you were going to use Windows. But luckily I'm not really going to use it all that much and ow. Uh, so... Oh, that is violent. Uh, so, I have two, gig two gigabytes to spare. That's not a lot, actually. Basically, a lot of Linux distributions give um, at least 2.5 gigabytes as the minimum requirement. Although, technically, if you are using something like uh, TWM, uh, also known as Tim's Window Manager, or Tab Window Manager, or Timeless Window Manager, whatever you prefer, it will probably be a lot smaller. So you could uh, just use something like 500 megabytes and that's it. So yeah, anyway, Gandalf, you need to cast, yeah, Lightning Bolt, I guess, because it's kind of stronger than Dancing Sword at this point, but not that much. Okay, shoot A, then heal Legolas again, 2 on on 3, and attack. Yay! Oh, lots of gold. I approve. Now we have 380. 380 gold. That's not enough though. But it doesn't really matter. Also, uh, wait a minute. Am I missing a spell I could use here? I think I am. Yeah, I could use Divine Intervention, but... Eh. I guess I'll just rest here and I don't care if I get ambushed or not. Anyway, Frodo casts 7-3. And does that cast as the electricity? Yes, it does. Awesome. Cast... Um... I kind of forgot. Is that five four? Well, okay, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to cast. Um, four three no. Okay, uh, I'm just going to. <laughs> Check my list here. Four five. Four five and six four then I uh, yes, six four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we basically have everything we need except for one five and one six. Right, now we can go here and there's a dead end there, actually. I have no idea what the purpose of that end, dead end is, but whatever. Okay, cast jump. A button on the wall! Push it! Yes. And there we go. We have solved this place once again. Unlock Shattereth. And let's see. I am Lord Archer the Raven. I take from those who have, and give to those who have not. Submit. Also, um, if you're Lord Archer the Raven, that means you, sir, are a kind of crow. And you are a lord that is actually a crow. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to submit. Sorry, good sir. I am the sheriff, and uh, wow, that's 
That's an awesome spread there. I very much approve. Lord Archer and lots of Master Archers. Well, let's see if we can do this. Okay, shoot G. I missed. Uh, okay. Bless up. Fight. Okay. Attack. Attack. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's cast that some sword. Because why not? It's an awesome spell like that. And, uh. Dwarf type resistance. Never a good thing. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. 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 No! Well, that calls for a spell. For a spell called Divine Intervention, 7 1. That also calls for a different spell. A spell called Power Shield. Sun 4. Also, does Shield help me there? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they stack, actually. There's Power Shield, and what happens if I cast Shield? Anyway, uh... Something tells me I don't have to care about Lord Arch, and I should instead focus on the Master Archers because they're wounded. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Not sure what to do here. Uh, really, I'm not sure what to do here. I don't really have anything interesting to cast. Or do I? Um, No, I don't think I have. There's Paralyze and basically nothing else I could use. So I'll just cast a 2-1 on myself to be safer. Okay, Fight B. Fight B. Fight B. And cast, so let's see if it stacks, Air Shield. Where is my air shield? Air shield, air shield, air shield. Air shield, there we go. 4 7. What? This is endurance? Really now? Well, we have both shield and power shield on. And shield is. Basically, air shield. Um, okay. Shoot B. Another Master Archer is down, and I don't really like how they lower our endurance. Although it doesn't seem to do a whole lot, so yeah. Cast 7 1 again. Ooh! Can you use it once for battle? Okay. Well, that is going to end poorly. Very poorly. Okay, Gandalf, can you do something useful here? Magic Light could do something. And actually, I'm going to do something else useful, and that is use the Curing Potion. Cast on 6. Wow, 
Why do I feel like those shields are not helping me? Like at all. Shoot C. Then cast one sex on oh, was it one sex or was it something else? Oh no, it was one six. Alright. Cast some Aragorn. Uh, okay, fight C. Fight C. Actually, that was a very bad move. Cast 6 1. Not effective. Oh! Only 6 points, really. 200? What? Okay, now that's bad. Whew. Okay, cast one six on two. Cast one six on one. Fight B. Cast six one. Takes 19 points! Like, just takes them. Oh, they even regenerate. Well. Okay, cast 1 6 on 6. Uh, fight B. Cast. Six on three. Shoot B. Cast three four on A. Well, that didn't do much. Shoot B. Alright then, we're kind of dying, but uh, kind of surviving too. One six on six, then fight B, fight B. Okay, that actually was a very terrible move. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see what we can do with a sorcerer. I could use prismatic light, but then it's probably not a very good idea. Let's cast 6 2 on B. Nope. Shoot B. Then. 67. Cast 1 6 on 4. Fight B. Alright then. Cast one six on five. Attack. Cast six two. Wow. Frodo uh, has six points. Okay. Shoot A. Oh, let's just shoot. Okay, cast one six on six. Whew. Attack. Attack. Okay, they had like forty hit points. <laughs> Alrighty then, master archers. Well, that was uh, spectacular. <laughs> I'm surprised we actually won this, but okay, we're awesome like that, I guess. Remove trap, Shagra. A copious amount of gold! I will take that, thank you. Oh, is there anything here? No? Alright then, uh. Well, 
Let's have Frodo cast... What was that spell again? Uh... 6-5. Found one. Found portal. And let's save. Alright, so since this is kind of... Uh... Over the limit now. I'm going to train next time, but we have lots and lots of gold to do that. I was really not expecting this boss to be, like, that difficult at this point in time. Because generally you're, like, supposed to, uh... You know, we kind of met Lord Archer the Raven. Or, as I would suspect, uh, Lord Raven the Archer. Uh, kind of, I don't know, when we were level, like, 7 or something? We definitely couldn't beat the guy back then, so, uh, that's strange. I never thought he was, like, that difficult. Especially since I don't think uh, Power Shield or Shield had any effect whatsoever. Which is strange, because it's supposed to be foolproof. But yeah, we managed to defeat them. That's awesome. I guess next time we will be going to Dinosaur Land again. Unless I have some other interesting idea. So, see you all then! Also, I hope that audio quality is better this time.